Oh god. Talking another asylum film on the Sci Fi Channel. This one's called Six Headed Shark Attack, though. So, a shark boom, thanks to Shark Week. We got tons of these cheesy TV films um, that uh, come out every year. And most of them are knockoff TV, crappy TV films made by the Asylum or the Sci Fi Channel or Discovery. And that yet, like Sharknado. And all these weird other mega shark versus whoever, whatever, has done it all. But then there's Six Headed Shark Attack, which is interesting. Um, and it was directed by the none other than the great Mark Atkins, who I brought up a couple times in some other reviews, like Dragon Quest and Merlin and the War of the Dragons. So I knew it's going to be a cheesy, messed up movie. So, how does it compare to those, though? Well, first of all, I might spoil this film. Second of all, let's take, let's see. So, it's your basic shark movie, except this shark has six heads. So, it starts off with uh, this research, floating research facility, which has four, which is, there's a party going on, and it's only three rafts put together. So, and millions of dollars. And like, yeah, let's just put it on there. They probably like, I spent all their money on drugs and alcohol. Yeah. Anyways, so starts off there and a bad storm hits, wrecks it, and whatnot. And then it cuts to this uh, couple who's running their own retreat on this island to help other couples whose marriages are in bad shape. And quite frankly, all these couples that play the couples that are in trouble shouldn't even be together because two of them... Two couples are like 30 years apart. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, there's no good character buildup. No one's likable. And, yeah, quite frankly, they should all be divorced and non-existent. Anyways, but it's a movie. we got to keep moving on for some shark kills, right? So, it's 2018. What's better way to make amp? Ramp it up, then have the two, the couple that's running this camp, get divorced. That's perfect. So, they get divorced. Hey, now the guy who has no idea what he's doing is running the camp, trying to hide it from everybody. And they decide to go out and they continue doing their thing. And then, eventually, the six-headed shark comes and attacks one of them. And... Then it's up to them to save it. So they decide to go look for this research facility, which is like the floating three barges. And yeah, there's like not very much to go on on this. This film will make no sense if I keep talking about it. So yeah, it's what you'd expect from a sci-fi channel film. But uh, there's one problem with this movie. Main problem. Not that the acting's bad. Not that the dialogue's horrible no there's barely any shark kills in this movie there's like four like and there's like eight people and they kill off the most entertaining one probably first so yeah but overall i knew it was gonna be trashy and there's some random scenes in it funny scenes um in it now some of the death scenes and they, a lot of them are predictable and we've seen before in three headed shark attack and Sharknado and all those other shark movies that come up came out before it. Um, there's some there's one really funny one where the who has tried to rip this one guy apart, but you can totally tell it's CG and they just digitally composited his face onto it, which looks awful, but it was hilarious. And then and then there's also they're fending off the shark because oh yeah, the shark can go on land now and they can breathe oxygen. Like God. I'm scared of the ocean now. After watching this film. And uh, yeah. So they def try to fend him off of a stick. And uh, the best part of the whole clip. Is that if they turn around. <laughs> they only have to run like 20 feet. And they could be out of its way. But no they stand there and get mauled and killed. Perfect. And so. And then the other big problem with this film. Is that they do not know how to do. Uh, proportion sizes. For the shark. 
In one scene, he's go the two heads are going through a hole, and this guy's poking at it with a spear. It's just a small hole, like it's no bigger than a TV stand. And then uh, when they're on the land trying to fend it off, it's like as big as the house. It's just like holy, like what did it do? Eat a whole pile of nuclear waste, all Godzilla's food, or something like that? Uh, an ancestor of Megalodon? Like, come on. And then, um, yeah. And, uh, so yeah, like I said, walks on land, smashes some of its faces in the dirt, and then to go. It's very unbelievable and ridiculous in some scenes, but, yeah. Six out of shark attack, what can I say? It's an asylum film made for TV. It was rushed out, tailor made to be bad, and that's what it was. So I give this probably like a two. <laughs> um, it was, there's some amusing scenes, the story does not get hurt. There's some scenes that like try to be like comedic and funny, but they run pretty dull and not worth it. So yeah, check this out if you want. It's made for those like sci-fi channel lovers. Like I love most of those movies, but this one was like a little iffy. Three-headed shark attack I thought was better. So yeah, check that out. I'm, I heard they're making 20-headed shark attack. That would be interesting, but yeah. So, here, I haven't seen Five-Headed Shark Attack, which is, this is the sequel to, apparently. So, clearly they don't learn scientists. So, yeah, check this out if you like those TV, city TV, sitcom, those city TV movies. And, yeah, well, well, I'll link the trailer down below, too, so you can check it out for yourself. I'm pretty sure they show everything in that, anyways. My Instagram's down there too. I usually post clips like I did of this film <laughs> on my story. So you can get a heads up quick and what future reviews might be coming. Also, I'm a little behind, so it might be a little while. And um, yeah, so subscribe if you want to hear my opinions on more of these open movies uh, like this. If you like the movie and um, if you want to hear more of that stuff, also comment down below if you've seen this. Let me know what you thought and other dumb bad shark movies that I should check out. Someone mentioned I should check out Toxic Shark. That sounds good. I think I actually have that somewhere. But yeah, we'll do one on that eventually. So yeah, but yeah, I guess all there is left is uh, watch out for the six headed shark attacks when you go out swimming in the ocean. Like, geez, like how many heads are they going to start getting? You never know. All right. So yeah. Keep an eye out for the six-headed sharks, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.